Ever since its separation from Ford a few years back, Mazda has been rolling out some great products since then, offering vehicles with evocative styling and spirited performance. The Mazda 6, which was last fully redesigned in the 2014 model year, is a great choice anyone looking for something a little more than the typical ho-hum family sedan. But with so many competitors in this class, is the 6 a strong contender? Well, let's go ahead and find out and take a closer look at this 2017 Mazda 6 Grand Touring. Now, as you could tell, the Mazda 6 is undeniably one of the best looking mid-sized family sedans out there. And it starts off with the front fascia of the vehicle, which is has the Kodo design language, which Mazda has been using for a few years now, but it really works on their vehicles. And you have LED headlights with LED daytime running lights on our top of the line Grand Touring trim. Our Grand Touring features all the luxury goodies, including adaptive cruise control, a full on leather interior, as well as a moonroof. But overall, the Mazda 6 certainly is a very mean and aggressive looking mid-size family sedan. Now here goes the key fob design for the vehicle. You have a smart key for the six and you have your lock unlock to release your trunk as well as your panic alarm, which features an exclamation mark. Now this color of the six is known as the snowflake white pearl. You also do have smart key access on the driver's door as well as the front passenger door. And that comes as standard equipment on the 6, which is nice. You also do have a full-on leather interior. This is the parchment leather. It is perforated. And you do have nice contrast stitching on the seats. And you have your power driver's seat with power recline as well as power lumbar and two-person seat memory. All right, now stepping on inside of the six here, as you can tell, this is a beautiful looking interior with our top of line Grand Touring. And I love the two tones with the uh, light gray and then also the black too. Really nice looking, certainly gives it contrast. And you could tell that this interior is inspired by some German auto manufacturers, especially maybe Mercedes or Audi, especially with the infotainment system and the head unit and then the controller down here really looks like it came from Audi or Mercedes, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because this is a really nice looking interior here. Now you do have push button ignition, just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. And that does come as standard equipment. You have a full on leather wrap steering wheel. Coming to your transmission, six speed automatic here with manual shiftability. We also do have paddle shifters. And when you put the vehicle into reverse, displays your standard rear view camera with guidance lines. No trajectory, however. Pretty surprised about that. But it does feature rear cross traffic alert. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the headlights, as well as the fog lights and the hazards. Let's go ahead and check out the exterior of the six. Automatic driver's side window. Let's go and pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators, and you do have blind spot detection. Now, not much has changed for the 2017 model year for the 6, except for that there is the addition of a new G vectoring control system, which greatly enhances the agility of the 6. You have 19 inch alloy wheels, which look fantastic. And I love how the wheels aren't overdone in terms of styling. Up front, you do have LED headlights as well as LED daytime running lights and your fog lights down below. I love this. This is pretty interesting right here. The LED accents. Now powering the six here, you'll find a 2.5 liter four cylinder that produces 184 horsepower as well as 185 pound-feet of torque. It's one of the most powerful four-cylinder engines in the class. And you're also looking at EPA estimates of a pretty decent 26 in the city and 35 on the highway. 
Now, if you are looking for all-wheel drive, you won't find that here on the 6, nor is the availability of a hybrid powertrain, which is kind of a letdown considering most vehicles in the midsize family sedan class do have a hybrid powertrain available. But this 2.5 liter four cylinder is reasonably fuel efficient and it produces a decent amount of power. Now competitors of the six, of course you have the vehicles in the mid-size family sedan class. This includes the likes of the Ford Fusion, Honda Accord, Volkswagen Passat, Chevrolet Malibu, Toyota Camry, and the Subaru Legacy. There's just an endless amount of options here. Coming up there, you have a shark fin antenna. And coming to the rear of the six, you'll find LED tail lights. Love the Kodo design language. As well as dual chrome exhaust tips. Total vehicle price is $32,110. And the EPA estimates, like I said, 26 city, 35 highway. Overall vehicle score is a five out of five. It's pretty good. And you have all of your basic power necessities, including power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. Interior quality is also really good in the 6 and also very competitive for the mid-size sedan segment. You'll find soft touch materials on all the door panels here as well as on the dashboard too and I love the stitching over the instrument cluster. And you'll find stitching everywhere inside of here. Overall this interior is very high quality looking and feeling and it's one of the best interiors in the segment in terms of build quality and materials. Now coming to the steering wheel design, pretty good looking steering wheel from Mazda. Pretty sporty too. However, I wish they had more of a flat bottom at the bottom portion of the steering wheel here. But pretty nice looking overall. You have your steering wheel mounted audio controls as well as Bluetooth phone controls. And you have your adaptive cruise control. Ours also has lots of safety technologies, including automatic emergency braking, lane departure warning, the blind spot detection, rear cross traffic alert. I mean, you'll find pretty much all the latest and greatest safety technologies on the six here. And down here you have a little storage cubby as well as a 12 volt power outlet. And you have your different driver selectable modes. Now your different driver modes do include sport, and then you have just a normal mode too. But the sport mode does tighten up the steering a little bit and it changes the throttle response too. We also do have your electronic parking brake and then you have your controller for the head unit, which I'll get to in just a minute. And down here you'll find dual cup holders. And then Decent amount of center console storage, but you'll find two USB charging ports down there, an SD card slot, an auxiliary input, as well as another 12 volt power outlet. Auto dimming rear view mirror, garage home link, and sunglass container. Nice to see that. And LED map lights, too. Then you have your sunroof. Some vehicles in this class do offer panoramic sunroofs. Line what felt on the glove box. Pretty good Mazda, really nice. Visibility out of the six isn't too shabby either. There's an okay amount of glass area on the front windows. There certainly could be more. The A pillars are fairly thin, however. Seeing out the windshield can be a little bit of a challenge, especially for shorter drivers. But when you get to rearward visibility, it can be a whole lot worse, but um, it's not too shabby back there. But at least a rear view camera does come as standard equipment. We do have a dual zone automatic climate control with your temperatures on the dials as well as your fan speeds and you have your different zones. Pretty easy to figure out, pretty intuitive. And then you also have your three stage heated seats for the driver and the front passenger. The gauges in the instrument cluster also have a pretty nice looking layout here. 
and you have pretty bold font on the gauges too. On the left you do have your tachometer and in the center you have your speedometer as well as on the right you have your driver information center which is kind of interesting and kind of curious why they put it over here and not in the center but it's not that big of a deal but it'll show you all of your trip information as well as your fuel economy data shows you your instant fuel economy as well as your fuel gauge too just basic stuff here but it's pretty nice looking it does have color too and we also do have rain sensing windshield wipers which comes with our grand touring model now coming to the infotainment system and the main head unit this is in a pretty intuitive tech interface and one of the best in the business and I love the graphics and the rendering behind it and like I said it's all controlled by this little dial right here as well as the buttons surrounding it what's also pretty interesting is that it's a touch green too I mean the Germans don't have that now your different audio sources do include all of the norm AM FM XM satellite radio as well as your external media Bluetooth streaming audio USB port with iPod integration and your auxiliary input and then you also do have your internet streaming media including Pandora as well as Stitcher and then this is your home screen right here you have your applications which you have a fuel economy monitor which gives you a little bar graph. I love the back button right here too, which is pretty convenient. You also do have your vehicle status monitor, which shows you your maintenance, shows you your oil change, tire rotation, and you have your warning guidance. Coming back to the home screen, you have your phone. You can hook up your Bluetooth phone, have all of your contacts stored on here and view your call history. You can also view text messages then your navigation but you actually have to get that equipped as an accessory through your Mazda dealer but the navigation system works pretty well on the six here then you have your settings you have your brightness brightness control and then your display settings as well as your blind spot monitoring lane keep assist settings for your safety sound, bass trouble, fade, balance, all that good stuff. We also do have a Bose surround sound system in this vehicle, which actually sounds amazing. And then other vehicle settings, including your rain sensing windshield wiper, if you want to turn that on or off, and then your turn signals, then your external devices for your phone. But overall, it's pretty easy to use, and it's very intuitive, and I love this interface from Mazda. One of the best in the business. Now coming to your heads up display, this is where you'll find your heads up display and it gives you a little digital speedometer which is pretty nice, but I wish it was just a little bit bigger, but overall it's not too shabby, you can also adjust it if you would like. Now one of the reasons most people will buy a 6 is because of its very sharp handling and its great agility. I mean this vehicle feels very nimble around corners. It's better than most mid-size sedans and it's always referred to as the car that's the sporty car in the mid-size sedan class. It's the sports car of this class and it offers a great powertrain. I mean this 2.5 liter four cylinder really get up and goes. It may not look all that great on paper but it really does provide a pretty good amount of power for the six and you'll be pleasantly surprised. The ride quality also doesn't beat you up for having sharp handling. It's firm but it's not cushy or anything. You'll find that the ride is fairly compliant overall and it's fairly quiet especially at highway speeds but if you're looking for a cushy riding mid-size sedan you'll certainly have to find that elsewhere as the six is for people who love to drive all right and let's go ahead and shut down the six let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle Interior quality does follow through in the rear. It's all soft touch back here. And you'll also find rear adjustable headrests, as well as a rear center armrest with cup holders. Now if you're looking for
for the roomiest interior in the midsize sedan class. The 6 isn't the roomiest car in the class, but it offers an okay amount of legroom, not too bad. Headroom, um, it can be slightly better. Um, it may feel a little claustrophobic back here, but it's not too bad. You have dual mat pockets, rear air vents, and then like I said, the rear center armrest with cup holders. And it's really nice that all the headrests are adjustable back here which some vehicles like the current generation Toyota Camry doesn't have. And the seats are pretty comfortable back here. Not too bad. Trunk is pretty spacious in the six and the rear seats do fold down 60-40 split to maximize the cargo space, but it's not too bad. Pretty impressed with the trunk space back here. And you have your emergency trunk release. So the 2017 Mazda 6 is easily one of the best mid-size sedans in the class with its sharp styling, its great performance, and its loads of technology and luxury features available. If you are looking for a mid-size sedan that you won't find in the parking lot every day, then the Mazda 6 will make a great choice. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.